ladies and gentlemen what you are seeing here is Nibiru you know the one that wasn't supposed to exist you know uh, you know I'm delusional and I'm crazy and that's why I'm showing you this because I'm inviting y'all into my delusions and my insanity this is my insanity right here Nibiru it's my insanity you know something is burning in our skies I guess that's my insanity and my delusions you know it's so many accounts in different places uh, where this thing is showing up and you know what it's getting larger and larger you know what it has two tails and you know what it has trillions of meteorites in them tails or millions and 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 then a trillions in that tail dust debris and everything else you know but I'm crazy you're not seeing this uh, somehow I made all of you crazy too see I'm magic like that you know and so we got this Martez Yashar Allah Yashar Allah you know that's his name so he has <coughs> some kind of uh, Hispanic first name and then a Hebrew Israelite last name which is he's a false devil he writes there's no getting through to this dude he mad cuz I'm pointing this out this is an agent this is the devil this is a demon talking on the page and he's just gonna get exposed he clearly has a mental problem oh I'm crazy uh, and I guess uh, if you guys don't see these planets if you don't see this Nibiru running, and this is at a distance, it haven't even got close yet. When it get close soon, we all going to be seeing this fiery thing in the sky. The firmament says the, the, uh, the Bible is going to be on fire. The heavens above us is going to be on fire. And here's the start right here. But I guess we ain't seeing this fire in the sky, huh? Watch. I clearly have a mental problem. This is what Martez Yashar Allah says. He thinks everyone who disagrees with him is the devil and he's going to hell and or and is going to hell. Uh, I think everybody who disagrees with God in the scriptures, I don't write one word that I preach. I don't write one word. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. Watch this. If I was crazy, why he on my page? Why he on my page every day comment? Would you go to an insane asylum and uh sit there and and watch somebody and 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 subscribe to their channel would you would you subscribe to a crazy person channel and then uh you know and then comment every day what, what would you be saying in the comments dude here's here's where your mental illnesses are you know those planets don't really exist there's nothing out there but uh cool skies you know and blue at that so watch this. <coughs> he says Paul was a false teacher. He is a bitch ass false teacher. He's the Antichrist in the Bible. He is. He goes against the teachings of Christ. And he does. Uh, Christ says by works and by faith. He says you say by grace. Christ says you say by works and by faith. He says by grace. He's a false prophet. How are you going to go against the one who came and brought the message? He's a false prophet, and this bitch know it. Yet still uses Paul's letters when it suits his point. And you damn skippy boy. I do. I do. I agree with anything that is the truth. So here's how the devil does it. He put so much of the truth out there to suck you in. And then he put an ounce of falsehood to mislead you just so you can go to hell. And that's Paul in a nutshell. He's always rambling on about some dumbass planet that doesn't exist and no one has ha, and no one has ever seen so we all delusional today folks we're not looking at this dumbass planet that don't exist it don't exist remember martez yashar Allah said it don't exist you know but something i don't know it's weird it's popping up in the sky all over the world this fiery red object is popping up in the sky all over the world and it's kind of resembling itself you know all over the world it's weird I wonder which one of us is crazy 
the one who is looking at this and say it don't exist or everybody who's seeing it and saying we may not know what it is but we know something out there that exists and this don't look right at least you can go with that far and say well it ain't what he says it is you know it's clearly planes you know which everyone knows it ain't clearly planes and everybody knows something is wrong these people trying to make you hey go live your life have fun kids and then you burn up and go to hell because you gained the whole world and lost your soul that's what this bitch is about so watch this truth is the earth is flat and the plants are nothing no more than lights in the heaven and who cares that don't have nothing to do with Nibiru Nibiru is a punishment you know it was the Solomon Gomorrah and it was the Noah when the flood came this comes straight from the Bible not from me but anyways the only reason why I haven't unsubscribed yet is usually he does a good job keeping the people informed about current events. Everything I inform you about is related to the Bible. So if you're saying I'm doing a good job with the current events, you're saying I'm doing a good job preaching the scriptures, boy. Boy. And let me call you Negro because that's where you at. You were my Negro. You ain't above my knees. That's how low you is. But anyways, he says, but that doesn't mean I agree with his bullshit. What's his what's, what's his problem? Uh, he wants me to agree with false ass Paul. That's problem number one. And they always come to the videos, and they even this video is about mercy or grace or something like that. And he comes and says this crap. This this video is about. Uh, that girl that got killed in the freezer but he comes with this crap because they so mad that you put out the truth you know and you informing the people they just want y'all to die uh, unawares you know they want y'all to get caught unawares watch this so that doesn't mean I agree with his bullshit so when it comes to his personal beliefs I have none I had none sissy I ain't got no personal beliefs except you a faggot. That's my personal beliefs. And understanding of the scriptures, I completely ignore him. And I suggest you do the same. They're always trying to give somebody advice, a demon. Follow my way. Yeah, right to hell. You know. And so watch this. Somebody named Ro Williams says, uh, Martinez, Yasharala, Nibiru does exist. There is a ton of proof. But I feel where you're coming from about everything else you said. You have the right to judge. The Most High Amen gave you that right. But don't let your judgment be fueled off hate or rage, but be more of a righteous judgment peace. You know, that person may be savable. But that uh, Martez Yashar Allah fake fraud is not. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Nibiru. And basically, you know, our time is limited here. You can sit there and play pretend with Martez and all the rest of the haters on the page. Or you can believe, uh, you know, a person who comes to you with the truth. When you can be discredited like that. You know, I, I wish you come and dis, discredit me, Mr. Martez or Miss Martez, whatever you are. You know, please come discredit me. You know, tell me the scriptures that you disagree with. Tell me the verses and, and you know, put it in a video so I can see where my discrepancies is. I challenge you. Just put it in a video where I can see where my discrepancies is. Uh, someone said my discrepancies before was when I said the president of the south will wage war against the president of the north and he did and then this war is pretty much started off of what Obama did which is the president of the south and they said well Trump is in office now so I guess that disproves what you said they don't disprove anything uh, watch this if, if we here on this earth and I came over and it was a crowd of skinheads and KKK and I'm over here in Black Lives Matter. 
And so watch this. So I'm Obama and Black Lives Matter. And the KKK is over there with Donald Trump. And I'm Obama and I come over there and I sock the president of, of Russia in his, in his eye. Pow! Who started the fight? Watch this. Now, I went home. I drove off. But the crowd is still there. Then all of a sudden, Donald Trump and, and uh, uh, Black Lives Matter got into a fight. And they said, you're discredited because you didn't start the fight. They don't make no damn sense. I know who started the fight. Obama, the president of the South. Obama started the fight over there, you know. And basically, and I'm talking about, uh, he, he knew better than to go to war with uh, Syria, uh, you know what I mean, uh, and all the things that he did. He knew better than that. And, and this, this that started the downward spiral. And it did. You know, and we can go word for word and things like that. But I'm willing for people, go back and, because they do, they say, I'm going to research all your videos and they end up tire, tireless because they can't find fault, you know. If you can find fault, then I'll correct myself by the book. You know, I'm not proud. Find your fault. Go look for it. You proud. Wrap the news.